Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here, and this lesson is Divide by 2. This is a fast, uh, quick lesson, you guys. Don't forget, all your lessons can be found at www.mrmathblog.com. Okay, so there's our common course strand, and so our essential question is, what does dividing by 2 mean? Okay, so this is the beginning of a new chapter, so it goes fast, you guys. Usually the first or second lesson goes pretty fast in the, in the beginning of a new chapter. Uh, let's go ahead and start the first problem. Um, Romero is stacking 10 tires in two equal stacks. How many are in each stack? So I was at a tire shop yesterday, so that's why I had this problem here. So what do we need to find, and then uh, what can we use to help us solve this problem? So here we need to find out how many tires are in each stack. That's what the question's asking right there. And in this lesson, we'll go ahead and do, uh, so what can we use to help solve this problem? On this problem, we'll go ahead and use uh, counters and then two circles to find out how many are in each group, okay? So we'll go ahead and use uh, counters to find out how many are in each group and uh, 10 counters with two circles. So there's 10 counters with two circles. And it says place one counter at a time in each of the circles until all 10 counters are used. So we'll just start dragging uh, one counter in each circle. So there's one, there's one. Here's another, here's another, okay? And then so we just keep doing one counter at a time in each of the two circles. So here we go. So now they both have three. Okay, now they both have four. And it looks like they both can fit one more. And I'll put it right there in the middle. Okay, so I'll just shift them over there right there. Okay. All right, so how many? So there are blank counters in each of the two circles. Okay, it looks like there's five in each of the two circles. So there's five tires in each stack because there's two equal stacks. Okay, and so uh, there's 10 uh, counters in all, or 10 tires in all, with two equal groups, two equal stacks of tires, so there would be five tires in each stack, okay? So this is how we record it, you guys. Both of these read um, 10 divided by 2 equals 5, okay? Or 10 divided by 2 equals 5 right there, okay? So this is how I always wrote. Actually, I did them both when I was growing up right there. So they both read 10 divided by 2 equals 5. So explain uh, what each number in 10 divided by 2 equals 5 represents from the word problem. Okay, so here's the word problem right there. Romero is stacking 10 tires, so the 10 represented the 10 total tires, in two equal stacks, so the 2 represented the 2 equal stacks, and then uh, 5 represented how many went in each stack. So 10 represents the total number of tires, 2 represents the 2 equal stacks, and 5 represents uh, how many are in each uh, group or each stack. Okay, remember from the last chapter, you guys, the 10 is called the dividend, the 2 is called the divisor, and the 5 is called the quotient right there. Okay, so let's try this, you guys. We're going to draw and find how many uh, equal groups this time. Okay, so this time there's a little twist to this. Seems like the same problem, but there's just a little twist. There, um, there's still 10 tires that uh, Romero will put in stacks, and if there's going to be two tires in each stack, how many stacks are there? So it's just a little bit backwards from before. So look at the 10 counters above, and then we'll circle groups of two counters until all 10 counters are in each group. So I'm just going to circle groups of two counters. So I'm going to, there's one group of two counters. Okay, so I'm just going to keep circling. There's one group. Here's another one right there. Okay, and then... Uh, I'm going to just keep doing that, circling two right there, and you're going to end up getting five groups of two counters, okay? So there are five stacks of tires right there. All right, so uh, let's think about this. So the, how many were in all? There were ten tires in all, and there were two in each group, so that made us five equal groups right there. And so we record it like this, ten divided by two equals five, okay? This also says ten divided by two equals five. All right, I said that was a fast lesson. Okay, take care, you guys.